Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. He said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. First of all, keys are precepts. A precept is a thought. Everybody say thought. But precept means original thought. Matter of fact, the word sept means thought or idea. Precept means the idea before the idea. It's kind of a weird concept. It means the original thought that created the thought. That's why a precept is before a concept. A concept is a thought conceived. A precept is the sperm. I went too fast. Okay. <laughs> Ideas don't always stay in your mind. They're like sperms. But once they lodge and conceive, they become a thought. If you leave them there, they begin to incubate and become a concept. And if you ever decide to bring them to full term, they become a belief. And according to your belief, you become. So do you know what my job is? My job is to be an ideas dispenser. I get paid to give ideas. Why? Because ideas are like sperms. A sperm is a powerful cell. Why? One is sitting next to you now. You began as a sperm. The only difference is you lodged. <laughs> the other 499 million didn't make it. You made it to the egg. And that was it. The rest is what? History. Tell your neighbor, you're sitting next to an idea that became a belief. <laughs> you know, uh, pregnant people don't say, I believe I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's a manifestation of somebody who planted a sperm somewhere. It's like an idea. This is why Jesus said, be careful. Now let me tell you something very important. The carrier of ideas is words. Words are dangerous. Your brain is the womb. So when people talk to you, they are intercoursing with you. And you got to be careful who you open up your womb to. Because once an idea lodges in your, in your mind and you keep it there long enough, it germinates and becomes a thought. And whenever you hear yourself say this, hmm, you are in trouble. Because you've just accepted an idea. The Bible says to the disciples, take heed what you hear, Jesus told them. And then he says, do not listen to the Pharisees. What was he talking about? He said, look, he said, don't listen to their words. Why? They are intercoursing with you. Hmm? I choose who talks to me. Did you know that? No, no, sorry. I choose who I listen to. People are always talking to me, but I listen to half of the people talking to me. Because I got to be careful what I want to hear. Sometimes I hear someone on the radio, I turn it off. Why? I don't even want to know it. I don't want it to get in my mind. I noticed that on the, on the local news lately, the first five stories are all negative. So I said, you know something? I ain't listening to this no more. And I'm going to advise members of this church, please protect yourself against the news. Otherwise, you begin to think the whole Bahamas is a murdering set. And it's not. But once it conceives, it becomes a belief, it comes out of your mouth. 
and now you start sharing those ideas with other people. Boy, we go into hell, you know, the whole place is going to hell in a, in, in a basket, you know, and you start sharing those ideas that you got pregnant with. Oh, by the way, your brain is a womb because it could get pregnant. Do you know what we call something that somebody produces? Their brain child. Their brain child. Microsoft is Bill Gates' brain child. Brain could have child? Yes. Your present state of your life could be your brain child. That's your brain child. You created that. By conceiving things that have become belief systems and that have literally now become your baby. Jesus said, I will give you the precepts of heaven. In other words, I'm going to give you information that you didn't get from earth. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.